Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Leo, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And yes, Leo, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. Oh, somebody is really hurting here, Leo. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Leo, um, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you. One side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Leo, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, seven of wands in reverse. Somebody is giving up the fight and that's probably that's what's hurting the other person. Uh, I see a lot of heartbreak on one side, feeling they're losing their forever person, you know, losing their partner, somebody they visualize to spend the rest of their life with. The other person feels, well, this was a very imbalanced connection. I always felt imbalanced. And uh, yes, uh, maybe this uh, commitment is not meant to be. So let's start your reading and figure out what's happening here, Leo. But before that, let's start with your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'm going to clarify these cards. So, Leo and their person spirit. Leo and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and their person. Leo and their person. All right, let's take a few more Leo from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Leo and their person spirit. Leo and their person. Okay, and just a few more Leo from a third deck as well. And then we'll start your reading. Leo and their person. Leo and that person. All right. Good to go, Leo. Let's start your reading now. The first card here says, One day I believe we will be together again. It's like one person still hopes the, it, the chapter is not totally shut down and they you know it's not totally ended. That's person A, I think. I honestly don't think anyone will love you more than I do. Just saying. I let my temptations get the best of me. I got sidetracked. I still have your pictures on my phone. You're perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. At first, I thought it was only a sexual attraction. But it's so much more than that. I love you, mind, body, and soul. I'm not sure if you love me for me or who you think I am. I'm afraid of commitment. I want to prove my love to you through actions. Nothing else matters but you. My heart aches for you. We've both changed a great deal. I fear you've moved on from me. If I could turn back time, I would. And I would do it all different. I'm angry with you. But really, I'm angry at myself. I daydream about being the parent of your children. I hope you'll find forgiveness in your heart for me. All right, Leo, these were some of your messages. Oh, there's one more, sorry. I really haven't been happy without you. So, well, with that said, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with, of course, an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today, Leo, as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. 
blessing, guidance, advice or a message for Leo. Believe. Well, believe in yourself, Leo. That's all I can say here. I don't know what's happening in the connection. I still have to do the uh, cards. But uh, I think my angels are uh, urging you to believe in yourself. Which I think at least one person is. One person is taking a leap of faith on themselves. Okay. So, Spirit, let's start the reading. I'm going to start with Person A's energy and uh, Leo, newcomers, just two energies in front of me. I don't know which side you're on, whether you're a man or a woman. I could be reading for the same sex couple, right? So, once you hear the reading, you'll immediately pick up if this is your reading, which side you're on. So, let's start and concentrate fully first on Person A, then we'll move on to Person B. So, Person B, why is there a big heart with three swords in it? What happened here? Why is the three of swords here in your feelings? Oh, they're missing their empress. They feel they've lost out on their empress. Empress in reverse. Person A is in deep hurt and deep pain because either they hurt their empress in the past and lost them, but that loss is hurting them big time. Why tell me? Why is the queen of pentacles as well in your feelings? One more. Okay, so maybe they feel that their uh, empress has uh, moved on to a brand new beginning for themselves or is holding back from them or is uh, looking even better and glowing without them and that's kind of ma you know making them feel very very hurt that they now they've lost out on uh, you know a future with the, the person who was perfect for them. Why do you feel this way person eh? King of Cups in reverse. They're feeling the lack of love being given now. Uh, now they are, no, yes, lots of sadness, lots of regret. Maybe person A is the one who uh, emotionally never opened up. This was a perfect match. Now they're recognizing it. There's guilt, there's shame, there's regret, there's sadness, there's sorrow. Because look at this, King of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Cups upright. Now they're realizing I had the perfect person in my life. You know, and I, I never opened up, I never told them, I never expressed how I truly feel and um, well, maybe they were scared of commitment. Whatever said and done, now this person is feeling the sense of loss of love. Uh, King of uh, Cups in Reverse. Yes, they ghosted this empress, I think, maybe at one time, could have cheated, could have lied, could have, you know, done something which was like, ha, 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 I'm never going to tell you how I feel. I'm going to run away and then look over my shoulder. Do you still love me? Are you still going to pour into me or something like that? Now they're recognizing what they've done and it's really hurting them because uh, I think this Queen of Cups has picked up their courage and maybe moved on. Right? Person A, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Yes, the Queen, Queen of Cups has moved on. Queen of Cups has, I think, gotten onto their chariot and said, listen, I'm not going to stay around for any more bullshit. But uh, now this King of Cups is realizing what they've lost. Now they are wanting to go back or get this Queen of Cups back into their life. There is sadness. There is regret about why they never behaved the way they should have in the past. It's like you never know a good thing till it's gone. That kind of feeling I'm getting from person A. So person A, how do you feel about the connection now? How do you see person B? How do you feel about the connection now? Death in reverse. I think person A is still hoping. Yes, death in reverse. Clarified by the death in reverse. Right? So person A really is hoping, you know, that um, uh, maybe it's just a lie and maybe, you know, uh, that just the fact that person B doesn't want to work with them is, you know, a false thing and uh, maybe this hasn't completely ended. I think person A is hoping against hope because they're feeling very ungrounded. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yes, they are feeling so troubled. They're feeling like a child. They're feeling, why was I so immature? Why did I come across, you know, as not wanting anything? Now they feel they're losing out on a very big commitment and... Uh, going backwards instead of forward in this connection. Give me one more for the Knight of Wands in reverse. Why do you feel like that, person A, about this connection? Because now, 
Now, as much as they recognize that this empress is their sunshine, their happiness, I guess they feel they are not allowed now to have this passionate brand new beginning with them, right? Or um, they are just irritated because they don't want person B to have that passionate brand new beginning for themselves without them, right? So this person is feeling very ungrounded. They are still hoping against hope that it's all a lie and, you know, my person has not gone away and the connection hasn't ended. Am I right, person A? Yes, they, they're hoping. They're hoping that this um, they, they can get another chance and they're hoping this hasn't shut down completely. All right, so person A, what action you'll take to get your person back, I will uh, check out later. This is your action card, but first I'm going to go to person B and check out how they are feeling. So person B, temperance in reverse. What's that? Yeah, person B says, uh, this things got really imbalanced for me. I was getting, um, you know... Uh, I was losing, I lost patience. I think person B saying I lost patience because I was always at crossroads. I was waiting. I was, you know, not knowing what direction this connection is going. So I kind of figured, well, maybe this is not meant to be. If they're not ever going to commit, if this is not going to be a solid connection where they are going to be, you know, investing or be working with me, then I'm going to accept that, yes, this is over, even though it saddened me. I was a little depressed because I did at one time feel that person A was my soulmate. They were my twin flame. They were my forever person. But um, well, now I feel, well, it's over or mm, I can't wait any longer. I lost my patience. Yes, I've lost my strength and my patience now with them. Why do you feel this way, person B? Person B says, because in all this time of waiting for them to make up their mind, well, I worked on myself. I worked on my self-confidence. I started moving forward and look at me. I've become the empress now. And one thing Omkara Taro I've learned is an, an empress doesn't wait. An empress doesn't chase. I mean, an empress knows their worth and they realize that uh, if somebody is not ready to do the right thing, well, an empress can attract whatever they want into their life, which doesn't have to take them backwards. An empress means fertility, growth, abundance and forward movement. So empress, I'm going to give you the mic. Would you like to say something here to Leo's reading today? Empress. Empress. Okay. Empress says they treated me like an option. They treated me like an option. They left me all confused. They never do, did right by me, Omkara Taro. So, yeah, I dropped them. I just dropped this person and I said, I can't carry all the baggage of a connection all by myself. If you're going to keep me waiting and always keep this connection imbalanced and always keep me like an option in your life, then I'm an empress and I don't stand for it. So justice in reverse, what did they do? Tell me. Oh, they were toxic. They never offered nothing. Yes. I think um, this empress says that this connection probably got a bit toxic because they had some addictions or bad habits. Maybe they treated them like a, a friend or friends with benefits and maybe they had others around them. They never apologized for their bad behavior, never came forward to give them a proper love offer. And uh, yeah, I think uh, person B has healed from all that and is trying to make things right for their own life now. I think but this empress is saying they took too long. I was patient with them, but they just didn't do right by me. Okay, so person B, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person A? How do you see the connection now? So this empress here says um, seven of swords. Well, this, this person B feels that their person was a liar. They were a cheater and... Uh, this empress says, well, I have been healing myself from all that deception that they gave me in this connection. And yes, I have healed to quite an extent now, Umkara Taro. All this lying, cheating behavior, ghosting me, you know, not making me feel like I was, you know, their uh, equal counterpart. Yes, I, I have been healing from this. And uh, they, all they did was be a playboy. They broke my heart, many hearts I guess, mine included and 
Yeah, they broke all my trust and promises as well. I see them as just a playboy who flits here and there, breaking hearts. So I, I actually, I am, I have been healing, and I have healed to quite an extent, at least my broken heart. And I'm sorry, there's a phone call. Let me just switch that off. One second. Sorry, and the ringer is off. So, what's the fool card, person B? What's the fool card? Did they make a fool of you? Yes, person B says yes. They made a fool of me. They kept me trapped. They kept me trapped and bound and tied and kept me all stressed out. They thought they took me for a fool. So, I've decided to take a leap of faith and uh, jump off that cliff and get out of fe always feeling in lack and feeling sadness and always feeling left behind. Yes, I've healed myself, Omkara Taro. I'm no, I'm no longer, you know, stressed about them. Uh, I'm blocking them out now. I'm blocking them out and uh, I'm going off for a brand new journey for myself. Great. So this Queen of Cups, I guess, knows the truth, I guess, according to them. And they say, yes, I was the Queen of Cups earlier. They see me as that, I'm sure. But now, see, I have a lid on that cup of love. You know, I'm saving it all for myself. I'm into self-love and self-care. And uh, yeah, maybe looking for new love now great okay so let's see what actions you guys will take now leo i'm going to take another deck for this one and as always request you remind you if you could tap that like button for me please really helps the videos to circulate and makes me feel good thank you and newcomers and repeating viewers the ones who aren't subscribed already Mm, it's absolutely free for you to do so all you have to do is tap that subscribe button and become part of our omkara family we welcome you in all right person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise ace of cups in reverse why is the ace of cups in reverse The Emperor, okay. Five of Wands, okay. King of Swords, all right. And the Six of uh, Wands. Okay, listen. Person A says, I don't want them going off for a new beginning in love. I don't want to see my Queen of Cups running away to a new love in their life. I know that I'm their Emperor. I know, I know. I'm going to go and I want to fight for this connection, Omkara Taro. I want to talk to them. I'm going to lay all my swords on the ground and say, I surrender. I want to talk to you. Well, my aim is to get victory with them once again. I'm really missing their love. Okay, so at least they have the intention to uh, now come up and uh, be that person who speaks their truth. So person B, what about you? Will you take any action towards person A now or otherwise? Five of Cups in reverse. Person B says, ah, I'm, you know, I, how much time I've spent sitting here, looking at the past, feeling, oh my God, it didn't work out, didn't work out, feeling sad and regretful about the way they were treating me with, you know, these other other things that are going on in their life. I've just gotten myself out of it, Om Karataro. I've healed myself. I've gotten myself out of it. I'm heading straight towards my new two of cups now. And what are you saying? Don't move towards new love. Okay, so clarify that for me, please. Five of cups in reverse. Queen of pentacles, five of cups, the world. Three of cups. Queen of Cups. I think person B would be open to communication, all said and done. I think they would be open if person A comes in as an emperor and a king of swords, some of you, if not all, would be open to communication. Why? Because of um, somebody has been really hurt in the past. This Five of Pentacles was not an easy place for, for person B to have come out of all this sadness, feeling left out in the cold, especially knowing that, you know, they were worth it. Uh, person B has a lot of confidence in this, in, in themselves. Maybe the separation has instilled that 
new sense of confidence in person b to realize their worth realize that they're an empress realize that you know uh, they are still very very attractive and they can, they can get whoever whatever they want i think before they shut down this chapter there is a possibility if person a comes to them with honesty you know a uh, person b may just be willing to reunite because uh, i think person b always did love person a they did love person a but uh, it's just that uh, person a never saw their worth but if they can come back and be authentic and be truthful and lay their heart at their feet i think person b would be willing to at least most of you would some of you would i don't know not about all some of you who have been hurt very bad can always of course move it keep it moving and empress doesn't have to go backwards forwards or anywhere they can just do what they want they can attract whatever they want in their life and person b has come to that level whether they move on to new love they get a two of cups if they're willing to listen to person a and can discern that person a is speaking the truth then they can have a reunion right so if you believe 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 in yourself so that's what i have for you leo till next time then love and light take care namaste